Hi, my name's Keith Cooper. In this short video, I'm going to address a question which I've addressed in the past a few times, but somebody asked me again yesterday. What's the best printer? Um, now, if you've looked at several of my videos, I look at different aspects, number of inks, uh, yeah, type of printer, type of ink, size of printer, all kinds of things like that. I've got lots and lots of reviews, but still people ask me, what's the best printer? Now, if somebody just out now asks me, what's the best printer? Now, if it's in terms of printers that I've tested of late, then the P7500, the big one that filled this space, is easily the best printer. It's not the best printer for printing cards or anything like that. In fact, it's hopeless at printing cards unless you print large sheets and then chop them up. Uh, but the problem is that people keep asking me what's best. And the thing is, there's really no such thing as best. There's marketing information you can read, which will try and persuade you that one printer is better than another. But it's not as simple as that. However, if you want the simple answer to the simple, which is the best question, in general, the more expensive the printer and the more inks it has, the better the printer is. Now, there are so many caveats to that uh, that I'd say it's only ever a generalization. But, you know, still people want to know which is better. Well, if you do, you need to ask quite a lot of other things. And I say I've got other videos in the printing section that look at different aspects of this. But here's something that people rarely consider is never addressed in marketing and sales, but is vitally important. The better the printer you get, the more skills and expertise you need to get the benefits of it being a better printer. That means that if you're new to printing, rushing out and just buying an expensive printer yeah, you know, eight hundred thousand, twelve hundred dollars, or something like that, or pounds, whatever. If you decide you actually want a printer like that, you're going to have to put in, if you haven't got the experience, quite a lot of work and effort into actually getting the best results. Because better is not just about the printer, and this is the thing that I always, perhaps, labour a, a lot in my videos because um, it's so important. Is that the better printer? needs ICC profiles for papers, it needs good quality papers. So cheaper printers won't have ICC profiles. It doesn't stop there. You also, ideally, to work on your images, you need a good quality calibrated monitor. That means you need some hardware calibration for your monitor. Now, you only need to do this once every month, few months or so, if the, adjust, if the settings on the monitor are hardly ever changed. But you do need to actually calibrate and profile your monitor. That's part of the process of getting it. Um, I would say quite often I found camera clubs, somebody will buy a monitor calibrator and then you can share it around. Um, helps get more use out of it. So if, you, if you're finding it a bit expensive, have an ask of other people. Maybe somebody wants to share the cost for something. It doesn't end there. Better printers, capable eventually of better results. Also, your files that you print they need better editing. That means understanding color management, understanding how the tonality of what you see on the screen relates to what you get in a print. Now, I've looked at how prints differ on different papers. That's just part of it. If you don't know that, how are you going to get the best results? You can have a printer as great as you like, as expensive as you like, but if you can't use it properly, then you're never going to get the optimal results. Works for all kinds of things. I can think of cameras as well. If you go out and get yourself uh, the latest Z9, you know, the Canon 3D, um, I have to try and remember all these numbers even though I use them. If you try and get a great camera, you're unlikely to get the true benefits of using it. Yeah, you'll get some great pictures, but there's so much you need to know to use it. You need expertise. And the same goes for printing. Not just editing, but your photography skills need to be up to it to get the quality of output you're after. So when somebody asks me what's the best printer, I can easily answer that question. Um, if you don't tell me how much you want to spend, 
if I had a choice of having a printer in here, even more so perhaps than that P7500 I had, I'd have a P20,000. But that's so big I can't even get it in the house. You didn't specify size. You didn't specify how much I could spend. Um, so the simple answer is there is no such thing as the best printer. There are better printers. But unfortunately, if you don't have the skill in editing, color management, photography, understanding how prints work, then you're never going to get the best results out of it. Now, I can say that because it applies to me as well. And I know that people at printer companies I've talked to would love to be able to say that to people who complain about the quality of their printers. But obviously they're selling printers, so they can't say it. I can. Rubbish photos, rubbish editing, make rubbish prints on whatever printer you try and do it on. So yeah, sorry folks, um, a lot of getting the best out of printing is your fault. Um, and it's one reason I practice so much by doing these reviews because it's, it helps me improve my own printing. My printing is, I like to think good, but it can always be improved. So there you go. What's the best printer? The one you know how to use properly. Now, I hope that's not too off-putting because it actually means that you can get perfectly good results out of cheaper printers. You just need to know how to use them. Um, so there you go. If you found that interesting, please do subscribe to the channel. Um, ask questions because it's questions like what's the best printer that sets me off on a rant about why there's no such thing and uh, produces little videos like this. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, cheers.